liberty and justice for all. Joel, you want to take minutes, please? Yeah. Wayne, do you have anything? No. I'm not sure about uh, We don't have a copy of the last month's minutes, so Jack could make it, I guess. So we'll postpone that till next month. Old business. Um, we were going to talk about the minor subdivision again, and uh, Gary's not here. He had some issues he had to take care of, so we'll postpone that till next month. Uh, Cherry Valley Estates Phase Four revisions. Uh, that's going to be. Do you have anything on that, Eric? Just yeah, I got a, uh, a letter emailed to me today, basically uh, saying that everything's still pending. Uh, and I got an email from Tom saying the contractor has asked for a time extension. And I can assume that they're talking, he didn't say in his email what he was referring to, but I was assuming it was this. Uh, but that's all his email says is the contractor uh, requested a time extension, but he didn't, that's he didn't say what project it was in his email. <laughs> so I can only assume that's what it is. Is that for the road? No, that's for, that's, for the, that's, for the, that's for the lots that are working on now. Okay. So they're they're working without an agreement with the township on doing it. Well, they have an agreement, but there's a couple issues that were needed to be resolved. Okay. okay. Which deal with the road, I believe. Uh, anybody have any questions on any of that? Uh -uh. So I guess we'll do we have to vote on that. I don't think so. It's just an extension. Okay. Cherry Valley other issues. Um, there's an issue with the emergency exit on Niner Cherry Valley, and um, I think maybe we ought to get a letter together and send it to the supervisors in regard to saying that that was part of the agreement that, that was supposed to be done years ago. Years ago, they haven't had it done, <coughs> and uh, it's been dragging out. So uh, that's something we'll have to try to get Jack or, or Aaron to maybe to type a letter up for us if he has a spare time. <laughs> if you want me to do, write something up, I will, but I, do you know when it was and how long ago that was in the agreement? I, I wasn't out here all, the whole, well, through that, all that stuff. So. This, this was way back in, yeah. the, in the 2000s, early 2000s, when they started, they started across the lake. Back in the original. This was back in the original. They started that. I'd, have to, I'd have to look back and <clears throat> find stuff on it. But they, had, they just had a meeting. I wouldn't look for the exact thing, just say okay. previously. Okay. But you also had a meeting. They also had a meeting with the supervisors where they said that they were going to take care of that too, and it's uh, a problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the Village Green. We haven't heard back on them on their uh, so, or, uh, stormwater management plan that they've asked for an extension. I guess because of the virus or whatever, so they're going to be on that. <clears throat> so that was just a topic of discussion. You have anyone to say on that? Anything, John? Or? Okay. Uh -uh. Any other old business you guys want to bring up? No. Nothing. New business. The Glockham subdivision. This is like the overall plan up, right. up here, and they're subdividing a small section off. This is on the end of uh, Califord Road. I can't pronounce that. Califfy? Califfy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, get, I get it wrong every time. Uh, they're basically... So that's adjacent to the... Uh, the or, um, oh, what's their name? Baker's. Baker's, yeah, Baker Farm. Well, there's, I guess, a house that was just built there two years ago. Uh-huh. The, that's on this part they're cutting out to make its own separate parcel. 
I thought we did a subdivision on that. I thought we did there a to get This would be. We did that for the off the off the off of the the Willie Willie piece yeah, for his daughter. It wasn't yeah. There was a there was a little bit of a friction thing going on and there was between. No, that was with Mark and him up front. The oh, Willie's well, the front, up front, the front, the front one. Okay, but this the is daughter. Right. I thought that the daughter. I don't know. This is like the last house on that road, I believe. Oh, okay. It's in the back. It's the whole way in the back. There's this little section. There's the right away that goes around this other mm -hmm. house, and there's another small parcel that's down here. There's a house on it, and this driveway sort of wraps around that house and then goes to this home. Uh, mm -hmm. That was that was one of my comments because that parcel is not really shown on their drawing. Yeah. The parcel sort of goes like that. It sticks out a little bit further and comes okay. back. And it's okay. not shown on here, and it doesn't call out that the owner that it's calling out like the adjacent property owner. So that was one of the comments I had on here. Uh, let me see. See, I don't, I don't like that twenty foot right away with that one on somebody else's property coming in at angles. Yeah, I believe that may have been there from before. From before, I mean, because the house is already there. You know, several years ago. I don't, I don't know for sure. It doesn't. It doesn't note if it's from previous time. Or that was that Dory house. But it's basically the driveway Dorish. leading. Mm -hmm. That's Mr. Kalefi's house. That that drive that part that right away goes through. Through here. Yeah, looking according to the county, the county website, uh, and it's basically his driveway. And then his garage is like right here to get in his house, and then it keeps going through to, to feed that home that was built. Two or three years ago, I think it was. I think the permit for the home was in '17, but it may not have been built until '18. But so, my other notes so are with all that, right? I assume if you, I mean, if I'm assuming he's good with it. I would assume he's good with it because it's basically the access to get there has been there since the house was built. Yeah. Uh, so I can only assume that, that there, well, we never heard any complaints or anything from is him. Is it better to have a letter from him saying that they approve that right away that you don't get into a problem? Like we've had some other issues <clears throat> with verbal agreements before saying that they have a right away, but then when they go back to use it, they complain about it. You know, well, it wasn't being meant for that intense purposes and stuff. Well, like we, that. we can ask for that if that's something we don't have. Because I don't have that. And I'll, the other thing I didn't have was a a letter from the sewage officer saying that since they're subdividing us, they're not separating off because the, they put a sewage system in for that house. Typically, when even though it's only two years old, it, they're still supposed to verify that it's not being separated. And I talked to the sewage uh, sewage council, and they said they hadn't heard anything on it. But then I talked to uh, the owner here of this property and let them know that that was something we were looking for, but I haven't heard back. From them on. And also, the zoning information is incorrect on their plan. It shows it should be a one zoning with a single family dwelling without sewer, which has different setbacks from what they they have shown on there. They have an RL district information on there. So I I did contact the owner and. Uh, Mr. Mounts, with a copy of my re, re, you know, review, and I noted it hasn't been through you know your review yet, but typically those you know things I bring up are typically things you ask for, so sort of an FYI. <laughs> it's probably coming. It's probably coming back to officially be asked for some revisions. Questions, yeah, so, what do they want us to do? Well, we have to prove the subdivision. <coughs> well, we with a letter of intent showing access. Uh -huh. That in a sewage, sewage letter from the sewage council. Okay. So, when they built this, I'm assuming they built this on the, the whole parcel to begin with? Yeah, when they originally built it, it was on the 130 acre whatever the original uh, acreage of that parcel was, and now they're just 
two years later they want to separate it off on a, on a separate parcel. And they're asking that the remainder of lot to be continue is all it's said in here. But it's, it's agricultural, but I don't know if they're actually growing anything on it. <coughs> But there's, you know, the, the remainder of what's listed is no septic on it, so they can't build on it. Without, they can't build on it without a going through sewage council. Well, does that have to have a long build away while this here being subdivided? No, that doesn't. Uh, no, what happens to the, the rest? On there. Oh, there yeah. What happens to the rest of this? Is this landlocked or anything? No. No. No, it's all it's all available up a Cluffy Road. Oh. Actually, no, this parcel no, is no, no, no. technically landlocked, except for that right away gives them access to. I don't know why they didn't get them over to the road to make it official. But I don't know what the. I haven't been out the whole way to the end of that road. I don't know if it's easy, if it's on the hill right there or something like that. To, it might not be. Have you been out there? Readily available to get to it from you know the direct. No, I that think road. that I think they built that house up one of. Up on the hill, yeah, and that, probably that existing driveway is, was the best way to get there. So that's okay. I'll make a motion to accept the subdivision with the provisions that we've put in there. Okay. You got a second? I'll second. Kathy seconds. Any questions? All those in favor? Uh -huh. All right. Opposed? Back. I'll get a letter to them to verify that that's what was brought up. And hopefully, we'll get something back. They want that there. up next week's supervisor meeting. They have all that in here. Right. Okay. Are they ready? They want it done right away. Well, I think I think it's been here for a little while. So, but if they, I mean, they're going to have to have the letter. Well, it was that never. It was, it was never presented. Oh, well, that one. No, that no, one wasn't. We never had. We never had that before. Uh -huh. We've never had that one. Oh, okay. I thought that was here for no, a while. No, that was probably the most recent one that, All right. that came in. Well, that we've had everything. We had parts of that that sat here for a while, but we didn't have the plan, I don't think, until the letter, I would be beginning of July. So it was like last week in, in June, I think, we got the actual okay. plan. And they did just put water up that road, too. Is that in now? I, I know they I were mean, putting it in. I, I think, think it's completed, completed. completed now. Okay. Huh. Enough. We had changed it. I tried calling you to tell you. Uh, you know what? They're working on my driveway and they've messed up my uh, <laughs> landline, so I don't have a phone. Oh, Emailed a newer plan than this, but we haven't received one in the mail. Uh, what what, what are we doing now? Which one? This is the Sateric. Sateric. Yeah. Or the Dieter next to the Dieter. Yeah. That's already subdivided. We already did that. Yeah. But Soteric is doing something. Yeah, they want to subdivide a lot, a small lot up in this corner off the of skyline. Next to Wagner's? Yeah. Yeah. They said when I spoke with them, she said that was going to be for her parents or her in-laws to build up there. And they intended to build on this lot 
sometime in the future to be determined. <laughs> okay, so that goes clear up more, more in uh, yeah, the air. Yeah, right up there, Skyler. Okay. They did a, a park test up here, and they did another park test somewhere down here. They passed up here? I, well, I got letter, I got information from the people that did the, the, the uh, sewage design for them, but not from the, the sewage council, and I spoke with them about it, and I talked with these people about it, and told them to co contact the sewage council to get the, their blessing their letter their letter and I have not received that back yet but they have I spoke with both ends of that but I don't know if they spoke together <laughs> so that that was one of my comments that we don't have the sewage all the sewage information on there uh, also there was an issue with setbacks shown on there The setback information they had shown didn't match what they should be if they were residential. They had or residential with uh, on lot sewage. They had noted. I think there's like a second sheet. I think it was a second sheet to that and I had the rest of the information. Yeah. yeah, they had, there was discrepancies in, in what it said there compared to what's in the, you know, on record for what they should be for those zoning districts as far as setbacks and, and such. But there was a question because I, whether the, the larger lot was to be for a built, building a residential building now or if they are keeping it as it was because the property was listed as is this one listed as clean and green yes yeah it has clean and green yes it's listed as clean and green so the question was you know are they in the application it said it was remaining clean and green but on according to the information they put there it looked like they were going to make it residential so i ask the question what are you going to do you can't can you do you have, it with two acres for cleaning i think you can do a two acre but you have to separate off where that house would be as well and they now what about the that's the its own commercial on the highway commercial down front correct <clears throat> so is, is it showing in division one this is the division yeah one? it shows well no it's not really showing it is it uh, there's a line here zoning a1 to b1 okay. it goes it shows it cut across oh, okay. Do you think that they're thinking about uh, breaking that up into lots? Uh, right. He just said it's talking to them. No, the they just said the one house up at the top, and they were going to put a house on the rest of the, the property. But when I asked them about the cleaning green and stuff like that, they said, "Well, we'll get back to you because I think they may end up revising it again and make a separate lot down there for that house, so they can keep it separate from all the cleaning green stuff." But. But so it's you're on clean and green. You're only allowed to separate off so much. Uh, no, it has so to be at least two, either two acres or. Yeah, you know, I think you can only do it once a, once a year. Yeah, or something. Uh -huh. So it's that may certain, certain percentage of the total acreage. Right, but I don't think you can separate one lot off a year. Yeah, there is something with that. So that may be that's like I mean that they said a future house down there that may be the reason next huh? year. They're going to go for that, but it, at this point, it's it's that's sorry when I there's a lot of questions on this one, and my my suggestion is answers sounds good to me <laughs> because they, they they're missing quite a few things, and like I said, from what their application said to what the drawing shows is different things. Uh, there's just a lot up in the air. I'll make a motion to table at the next meeting. Second. No questions? Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That was that first one.
Okay. This last one is Dings Moore property. This one probably should have been at the last meeting, but I was under the assumption that it was already done just from when everything was dated. I thought it was done before I came in no. into this position. So <coughs> I'm sorry I didn't have it on last month. I, I assume we, in the note that was on it as we were waiting for a, a plan to be returned, I thought it was the final plot plan that was, that was uh, being recorded. So <laughs> I was waiting for that, but apparently I was wrong. It was still waiting uh, to go through the, your meeting. I don't know when everything we got the last piece. Well, actually, let me see here. The last piece of information you received. There was stuff that you didn't receive, and it was in the December. I didn't receive it for my review until the middle of December, yeah, which would have been after your December meeting. Taking a block out of this. Yeah, they're just they're just separate. You're just separating the property where you cut the hay. It's the corner property between Fort Cherry and Fifty. That piece is. Coming off from the farm. It comes up from 50 up back to Joe Petrucas, right? Yeah, it goes back to Petrucas. Yes. Behind, yeah. behind the body yeah. shop. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I think the only comment I had on this one was the sub the uh, zoning line that's shown on there is just in the wrong spot. Yeah, the the zoning district separating the A1 and MU. It's supposed to be 500 feet off the center line of the road. It's shown at 250 feet off the center line of the road. That was basically my only significant comment on it. Is someone going to build on that? They have a park test? You can only get with 10 more, more than 10 acres. Yeah, I believe it's. Is there an exemption in? There's an exemption for it? I believe it's. I didn't see anything on here. We're not going to build immediately, but we're going to put a building up there first. Does it be a farm building or? Yeah, like a barn storage building. No, I did not receive anything from the sewage council on this one as well. At least when I reviewed it the first time, let me see if he received anything here. Okay. After it came to me, it's like I said, Bill, Bill was around for a while before. They still, they still need, yeah. they, you can do that, they can do that 10 acre exemption, mm -hmm. but they don't they have to have the paperwork on it. It has to be approved by the county. Did you do that? On the application, it asked for the 10 acre exemption, but we didn't receive any anything on from the sewage council. Ask for that so you can place yeah, yeah. on there and at the same time they can place I mean, that one line. But you're you're that's been in the family for years, so there should be no problem with that. Um, I'll make a motion to accept the subdivision as presented with the, the letter from the uh, exempt just to have that exemption letter. Ten acre exemption. A second. Any questions on it? All those in favor? Uh -huh. Opposed? Is that something I have to do, or you, that will have? Uh, you'll have to fill out. I don't know. Do you have papers for that? Or, the count, or you have to get it for the count, or the sewage people? Sewage, yeah. you have to sewage get council. Yeah, Kathy, we went through the same thing with Chrissy and Paul a lot on. You have to just go to the sewage council. Okay. And third, third South Chavane's Township building okay. is where their office is. Okay. It's, <laughs> we're looking for them. We just need that to show that, you know, it's because it's been in their family for years, but I mean, it shouldn't be a problem doing that. Okay. All right. Any other questions on anything? Wayne, do you have anything? Aaron, do you have anything else? That is all that I have here. Okay. Okay.
Motion for adjournment.